Hey guys, Kevin here doing a video of your 2021 Tiffin 24 TW Wayfarer. Just to show you, because I have a 2020 sitting next to it, what the overhead cab looks like in 20 is this here with the black on top. It's a little more bulbous shape. And then in 20, one, they went to this a little bit more streamlined look. There they are side by side. So let's take you through the outside. I've got the engine compartment opened up just so you can see what I, how that looks generally. It's clean and engines running good. We put them through a pretty good um, inspection before we decide to purchase something or keep a trade in it goes to a third party across the street that does um, smog check when necessary and they change the fluids the oil and the filter and the generator in the engine and so once they do a chassis safety inspection over there then it gets cleared to be sold and we take it over here so once we sell it then it goes through our service department and they check all the motor room stuff which this one will go through all that as well so you can see the smog check was completed from across the street. This one means that they flushed and cleaned the tanks, that little toilet thing. They flushed and cleaned the tanks. This just means there's no warranty yet uh, implied unless there's leftover factory warranties, which this one should have on the engine as it's about five, I think it's a five year, 100,000 mile, I believe with Mercedes. And that's transferable. The motorhome had a one year warranty on it to, from the beginning for the Tiffin motorhome part, and that's probably it's got to be expired by now since it's at 22. Uh, actually, depending on when it was sold, it might have a couple months left because it's a 21. It could have been sold at the end of 20. In that case, it'd be, it would be up. So, anyway, standard warranties are, are out there. We can provide one for you. And I, like I said on the phone, the finance department can speak with you about that. California makes us put up this sign that says as is no warranty on any motorhome, whether it's one day old or 30, 30 years old. So just so you know how that works. Anyway, this is a cool little step. People don't know, know about this, but this is actually a step so you can get up and clean the windshield. I'm gonna close this now and show you. So you can put your foot here and you grab onto this, and you can get up here and get a squeegee and clean the windshield. Kind of a cool little thing. You've got this uh, tape up here to protect from dings and road hazards. It's called Diamond Shield, typically. It's not on all the Mercedes, but it's on the Tiffins. So you come around here. I like this first storage compartment. Um, we've got it kind of a barn door storage situation. And it goes, I think, in there pretty deep too. That goes all the way in there. There's your inverter, your Dirt Devil central vacuum system. Got this nice finish here so stuff doesn't slide around too easily. So you close this door, and you got your other door. So that's kind of a nice thing that they, that they do. All the TVs are LG smart TVs. Some went outside as well. Awning lights still function while the awning is closed, which is neat. And then you have built in speakers up here that are they're out, outdoor speakers. And so, with the awning in or out, you can enjoy all that stuff. I like how they even have LED lights inside the speakers. I think that's kind of a new thing. I don't remember seeing that before. You've got the Truma tankless water heater. Pretty exciting. Just peek in there a little bit, but that's a nice feature, standard feature, but um, nonetheless, nice to have. Tiffin is also pretty much the only brand that provides a diesel generator. That's your Cummins Quiet Diesel QD 3200 generator. This space here got, goes all the way through. And then there's a little bit of storage there that goes all the way through as well for maybe fishing poles or stuff like that. And you've also got your propane quick connect 
looks like an extension for that but that goes with it as well that's going to connect your grill to your propane tank going around the back of course you see your backup camera up there this compartment is the other side of that big one got a little bit more storage on this side There's some clips up here to hold this in place your 30 amp service your surge guard transfer switch I really like how all of their baggage doors open side to side also so much easier to get stuff in and out and Tiffin makes all of their own doors they're super heavy duty these are the same doors that you find on their diesel pushers or their nice gas coaches they're just really high quality thick heavy duty doors here's your um, your full coach filtration your easy access to your water pump your outside shower flush system that's how you flush the tanks you connect there instead of having to put a hose in the toilet from inside a couple different connections one for cable I think that's if you're going to do an outside satellite on a tripod then you can access your water pump from inside as you can see that just kicked on this is the gravity fill just a little space to put the hose in to fill it up without having to actually connect to the motorhome another nice feature not all motorhomes have there's your actual dump station this is designated that we cleaned it and flushed it and that was that little toilet sticker on the front that last one here is your propane tank this one never has a lock on it there's your side cameras built into the mirror we'll take a look inside steps automatically come out Got your fire extinguisher tucked inside here. Nice slit handle. There's your jacks right when you walk in. Lights and switches. The main controls are over here. And you've got awning controls down there. There's your stereo, it's all Bluetooth. You can play music through your phone to play through your speakers. Here's the uh, broad view. Actually, let's go wide angle now. There we go. Get a broad view of the inside. This is TV. This is a Samsung. I'm not sure if it was switched out, but that looks like it's also a smart TV. Sometimes we'll see a different brand of TV in a Tiffin. A lot of times it's LG. But nonetheless, it's pretty much always some sort of smart television, which is nice because most brands don't do that. They just don't seem to give you very good televisions. So these are the booster chairs. So when you turn these seats around, you can put the booster seats on, strap them on so that if you have, have an adult sitting there, they're not feeling like their, their feet are too close to the ground. These are something that was left over by the previous customer just cutouts for probably the front windshield to keep heat out when they have it parked and this of course flips up out of the way so you can get in and out of the cockpit easier there's a little table that goes here or here for when the seats are flipped around let's take you through the rest of this there's a pull out here which is in a really nice position actually Gives you plenty of space to cook and still reach the cooktop. Got your plugs and some USBs here, and that go out of the way if you like. There's, this, there's screens on each and every window throughout the coach. Got a nice round sink and hard surface countertops. cabinets convection 
microwave oven. This is the same exact brand of convection oven I used at my house when we were remodeling. And also just, I forgot to point out, whenever I see blemishes in the coach or little things that need to be fixed, I usually, I like to point them out too so that you know that we see things and we, even if there's a couple little things that to fix, we take care of that stuff typically like up here. This needs some new screws. It's not connected properly, the speakers. And this, this one's a little loose too. I think actually, maybe that's okay. Those are really good brand speakers too, the Focals. That's actually a really good sounding speaker. There's the sofa that's in there now. Got these, a little bit of storage up above that. These lights here are like a little ring light. Touch it once and it gives you this little blue for like maybe like a night, very, very, you know, just a basic night light. And there's two of those in the bedroom too. And then once more to get the actual light on. Fridge is nice and tall, but narrow. So it is, I think still six cubic feet and has plenty of shelves and this freezer area is a little small but not too bad you got your fantastic fan up here too this is an attic fan powerful usually there's one, at least one in the kitchen in this case there's one in the outside in the back bedroom as well and that's going to circulate the air out of the coach especially good when you're cooking Got some more shelves. Here's all your remote controls here. And these are soft clothes. There's some more, there's some touch up paint. Everything's always finished so nicely in these Tiffins. This looks good. There's your connection for your, for your central vacuum. One piece fiberglass shower as we make it back here. It's a um, skylight, but um, decent sized shower. To come through here, there's your fuses and your breaker box. There's four of these this size drawer down there. And then if you did want to make this into one giant bed, you literally just take this has these hinges on it and you just bring it forward and then you can reconfigure these backrests to fill in the space so pretty cool idea and then as we there's your hanging closet TV's on a really nice frame there so it's nice and sturdy it's not going anywhere they used to put them in the closet and then they'd slide out from here and it was a little funky so that's a little bit better design another closet over here there's all your manuals and documents for the coach within the wayfarer bag nice that there's well there's actually one two three four five this can be propped open too. So six opening windows and that they're on each side is pretty cool. So you have lots of airflow back here. Up here on the left is your solar controller, your generator start. This is for the, the, the um, TV antenna. I guess there's a satellite dish up here. That's cool. So it doesn't have a satellite already on the roof. As your Truma system, you really just turn that on and forget about it. Pretty much, it doesn't need a lot of tweaking. And that is your, um, I think that's where you turn on your inverter. So that's going to help you get some things that require 110 power to work without having the generator on. Usually like the TVs, maybe a plug in the front, could be one in the back as well. This one down here, most likely. But let's see here, we've got more storage. And that goes all the way across, so. And all the way into the corner, too. A couple more over here. Yeah, they do a good job of giving you as much storage as they can. In a smaller space, I 
their finishes are just so cool. I love how they round this corner off. Everything looks good. I head into the bathroom here. Small but well laid out space. Got a little storage down there. That's just a facade. If you needed to access that, I think you can pull it off for the plumbing. I like how this is open on the sides. Gives you a nice space that's easy to get to. And you've got your medicine cabinet back here. So there's actually three attic fans in this coach. There's one there. Another one on the bedroom, which is going to keep you cooler at night. And then the one up front. So that's pretty cool. That's uh, another little cabinet back here on the, above the towel rack. Okay, and I think that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions. So this door is designed to rest up against here so that you, if you want, you can keep this open all the way and then kind of have an easier access and more open feel to the bedroom and bathroom area when you're getting ready in the morning. So here's my view from inside the shower. Coleman Mach air conditioner. These are pretty much, I think they're the best. There might be better ones out there, but that's uh, one of the quieter and it's really efficient. So I'll take a look at the front cab area. If you're not familiar with the new Mercedes dash and they totally overhauled this entire cockpit and the front of the coach, the way the lights look and everything in 2020 motorhomes or newer. And that was a long time coming. We had the same exact dull utilitarian look of the Mercedes Sprinter since I don't think they had any changes since 2008. So it was really nice that they finally did that. And I have this awesome 11 inch screen. And over here and here, these both work like a mouse pad. So you flick your finger on it and it goes from side to side. Click on what you want by clicking, let's push there. And then you get, it's already got Sirius dialed into it. You can also touch the screen and even go like that to get different stations, for example. Then you've got your home screen, or you can just go simply go back one way, back one, or home. That's home, I guess, sets it on navigation. Volume button. And then the same thing goes on this side. This, you work back and forth and get to the main screen, so. It goes up to different categories here, and then you can go into each section if, if there's options for it and get reset things etc or just go back so it's something you can kind of dig into and so then you get into this section you got all these service drive assist different settings so this is even giving you basically a lot of the same stuff on the big screen, once you get into this particular category, I'm gonna go back, if I can figure out how. There's the main one on top, very, very top, where you have the miles. Okay. You have electric seats now, that didn't, it wasn't the case <clears throat> in the older version. The chassis was always manual. You've got some memory and then three different settings so, you know remember three different settings on how you want the seat everything else is pretty standard any questions about this don't hesitate to ask got a little storage up here place for some glasses Rating lights, main light.
I think I'll get the slides in. Oh, one more thing I wanted to tell you. I think this is pretty cool. So I've obviously got the parking brake on and there's the parking brake indicator in red. So when you want to flip your seats around, you obviously don't want to turn your parking brake off. So what they've done is they've created a way to, you just push this out of the way, that's your parking brake. So that's in either up or down, it's still in parking position. But that, the down position, allows you to turn your seats around while keeping the parking brake on. Then when you want to release the parking brake, then you need to push the button, lift a little bit, and push down, and that would take the parking brake off. I don't know why that's so interesting to me, but it took me like seven years to figure that out. After working here about seven years, I finally learned that tidbit. So, nice floors. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything that I'll turn off the recorder and be like, darn it, I wanted to add this one more thing. But just let me know if you have any other questions other than what I covered. Happy to ha uh, help you guys. And looking forward to meeting you when everything gets uh, gets ready. I'll get this uploaded for you guys and send it to YouTube.